Hey everyone, welcome back to the Figure Pit channel. Another big haul unboxing for you with some truly epic characters from the 80s and 90s, uh, including the Blitzway Ghostbusters, which is something I've always wanted to see in person. We've got the Diecast Hot Toys Robocop over there. We've got Neo from the Matrix. We have a really cool prototype armor white suit Boba Fett in the center there. Uh, my T800 Terminator from the first movie and an endoskeleton which uh, I have yet to see in person, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Now, something to note with the Ghostbusters, uh, Winston Zedmore, his arm, one of his arms has broken. I think it's something to do with the, um, the body type used and the kind of because they had to do the, uh, the African-American skin tone. Apparently, um, darker plastic breaks easier than the lighter plastic. I don't know, something I heard a long time ago could turn out to be true because apparently quite a few people have had uh, the same issue with the Winston figure. Um, but Nick is ordering a replacement body for Winston so it'll just take maybe a week or two to get that replacement body sorted out for Winston and then if someone does want to buy the full set of Ghostbusters here that's going to be £1,250 or £325 each which is a saving of £50 if bought all together so it's just a matter of giving us a week or two to wait for that replacement body for Winston and then they'll uh, you know if someone does want to buy the whole set that's the situation just give us a week or two get his body replaced get him good as new and then uh, yeah or you can buy them individually i'm quite tempted by um you know quite a few of them <laughs> to be honest um big fan of bill murray so peter vankman would be my choice but also really tempted by um egon as well so uh looking forward to seeing them and we've also got bossick if i'm saying that right B-O-S-S-K, one of the bounty hunters from Star Wars. And on the other end, on the right there, we've got a Star Wars Boba Fett, the deluxe version, but he has sold. So Boba Fett has already sold. Everything else here is up for grabs on the website. Right, I'm gonna start unboxing this stuff. Really looking forward to seeing the Ghostbusters. And Neo, gonna be bringing him back for the full treatment back at Night Vision HQ. So you can look forward to a nice Neo review coming up and uh, possibly Peter Vankman as well. I'd love to get my hands on all the Ghostbusters and show them all displayed together, but it's a bit much for uh, the short time of space I'll have to do these videos. So I'm just gonna probably just take the one Ghostbuster and like I say, probably gonna go with Vankman. So I'm gonna start with the Ghostbusters and beautiful packaging. I love the way the actual name for each character is like a patch that you'd sew onto an outfit. They really are limited edition. This is one of those rare occasions where limited edition actually means something on packaging. It's very hard to come by the Ghostbusters now. Blitzway clearly didn't make too many of these. Makes me wonder how many of the Ecto-1 they made. Beautiful packaging, love the artwork. Really looking forward to seeing these all standing together. All right, here they are. This is how they will be presented to you when you take away the cardboard packaging. There's Egon. That's, uh, that's Nick's favorite one. You can see why. They, uh, they all come with some different accessories. We'll get a look at those. There's Winston Zed Moore, Mr. Ernie Hudson. So and we have Peter Vinkman, Mr. Bill Murray. And then Mr. Ray Stance. Dan Aykroyd. That's a really good likeness as well. That's very strong. I still think Egon's probably the closest, but that is definitely right up there. Wow. The hair is done so well on everyone. So good. Right, so we've got Ray's accessory tray beside him. And 
uh, the proton pack is amazing. I mean, it's still got the plastic shell over the top of it, but wow, look at that. The actual uh, beam, that's what I'll call it. One of the streams. That looks excellent. This is uh, goggles, night vision, <laughs> ghost goggles. And uh, you got the trap. And uh, what's that little? Is that a walkie talkie? What is that? Oh, right, is that? Yeah, it's the foot trigger for the trap. Gotcha. You got his gloves. Cool looking stand, base. Yeah, so, he comes with everything he needs. And uh, he also has some cigarettes. He's got like two cigarettes, one unlit and one smoked, halfway smoked or something. Pretty cool effect. And then for Peter Vigman, pretty much, pretty much the same stuff. You got your uh, stream, proton pack. Oh, he's got some gloves that hang over his belt, some cigarettes. There you go. And Winston has some goodies too. You got the trap, the gloves that hang over the belt, and the stream, proton pack, gloves, stand. He's fully loaded. And then over here we have Egon and his accessories. Uh, he has his PKE meter, and I think that's. Well, I think he was recording like a dictaphone his thoughts as he was going around sometimes, but I think that might be something else because it's got the uh, the dial with the, uh, the the green, the yellow, and the, the red, well, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, put on pack. But he comes with some good stuff. He's got some different bits. I want his glasses. But the PK meter is very much Egon's thing. So there's Egon and Winston with their accessories. And here they are all standing together and it's absolute thing of beauty. As a child of the 80s, this is a special moment for me. Getting to see these guys all together. So exceptionally well recreated in one six scale. Absolutely incredible likenesses. I mean, like I said, especially on Ray. That is something. And check out his hair. And Peter Vinkman. And Winston. And Egon. <laughs> that is amazing. R.I.P. Egon Spengler. Man, these are cool as well. <coughs> just letting you see the details of the outfit and their little accessories like the walkie talkies and whatever that tube is for. I forget. Just very. Well, I guess the tube goes into that little hole there. pads. They look very legit. Check out their boots. That's got to be Peter. Is it more? Incredible likeness. And he's probably the best of the bunch. Followed closely by Mr. Stance. And we'll just get a look at the detail on the proton pack. 
which is perfectly recreated. I mean, I'm no expert on what this is supposed to look like, but I remember the gist, and this looks really, really impressive. Awesome. All right, so we'll wrap it up with the Ghostbusters here with a quick little pose of them all together again. Just moving around the position of the heads a little bit, showing you the different angles on the likeness. Incredible work by Blitzway. I wonder if we'll ever get any other one six scale Ghostbusters, maybe Hot Toys one day, who knows? But if that doesn't happen, then these are already very expensive on the secondary market on eBay. So, bear in mind, folks, we got them. We got them all. And now we have Hot Toys 1 6 scale diecast Robocop. Now, this is definitely one of the very best figures Hot Toys have ever produced. And you're about to see why. All right, so you've got a really nice, tough kind of design here to the slip cover in two parts. Really strong though. And then the styrofoam housing for the die cast figure itself. Robocop. And well, he is gonna look extra special because of the blue light, uh, sorry, the purple light bouncing off his armor. It's gonna look insane. You get your mouth plates, some of the best in the game. You get your battle damage sections clean look. Get one die cast gun, one plastic one. You get the data spike hand. And let me just remove the plastic. But yeah, that purple light bouncing off him. Can't wait to get him out and pose him. He's gonna look great. But this really is one of the very best folks. I got it at home and I love it. And there's also this extra tray underneath with the stand and base, batteries, and the remote control, which is the big Robocop sign right there. That doubles nicely as just a nice front of the base. Yep, here he is folks, absolutely one of the true masterpieces in 1-6 scale. Honestly, this is Hot Toys top top three figures ever, and they've made hundreds of figures now. So that's a bold statement, but it ain't so bold because this is Robocop and he's die cast. He weighs a ton and you can change him into a battle damage look. Very poseable, definite likeness to Peter Weller under the helmet. It's just exceptional. I love this piece. I'll let you just soak this up. Still need to see the Murphy figure in person. I'm sure that is incredible. It looks amazing in all the videos I've seen. And I've uh, never really seen the chair that you can get with him. There is another version of this figure that comes with the chair when he needs to uh, recharge and just relax after a hard day of scum busting in Detroit. Yes. So folks, Hot Toys diecast Robocop. Arguably one of the best films to come out of the 80s, maybe the best. There certainly were some good ones, but Robocop still holds up. So we just got the one on the website, folks. Someone's going to snap him up and they will be a lucky collector, because it truly is one of the very best out there. Say it with me one more time. Robocop, part man, part machine, whole cop. <clears throat> well, can you imagine if, um, if Robocop, like, you know, I mean, because that could happen, that could happen anywhere, right? So what? Robocop. Like, what if he was Northern? What if he was Northern? Yeah. 
What, 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 what might that be? You're under like? arrest, you <laughs> bastards! Here! <Yeah. laughs> crime doers! Stop that crime! <laughs> Dead or alive, come in with me. Is that it? I think so. Okay, dead or alive. Dead or took live. <laughs> you come in with me, you bastard. <laughs> you bastard, crime doers, scumbags. And now we have the Hot Toys 1 6 scale T800 battle damage version from The Terminator, the original movie. This used to be my figure, and it's an excellent piece, I can vouch for that. With one of the most badass boxes in the game. Exactly what you would want from this version of The Terminator. Very similar to the original film poster. Absolutely awesome box. Now this is not a DX Hot Toys figure, but it might as well be, because it comes with a DX style base that has been reused since with other characters because it was so cool. Uh, it comes with two heads and just everything you would want. This is basically a DX figure that's not officially a DX. So uh, there he is. I'll take off the clamshell, but just fully loaded. Right, so something to note. Again, this was my figure, so I know to tell you this. The um, common issue with under his chin, the light layer of skin on the neck, on the body they've used, it wears away quite easily. So if you turn his head up, like he's looking up at the sky, you're going to see that. But otherwise, you can't notice it. So it's a minor little thing, but it's a shame Hot Toys, uh, well, hopefully they've abandoned that type of skin that they were using. But you've got the Battle Damage Head Sculpt which is super gross, but super awesome. Very movie accurate. And uh, this is the head that you would use with his sunglasses. Those really cool wrist pegs, which I like, that come with Arnold Schwarzenegger figures usually. And I think sometimes they come with Henry Cavill Supermans. Get some really cool hands too. Just got the detail on those bad boys. And uh, same boots and trousers, so I believe he was wearing uh, what pants with the Tech Noir version. And then the awesome leather jacket. T-shirt with the bullet hole. Loads of cool guns. And there's even more goodies underneath this tray. The beautiful base with the, the road and one of the pipe bombs. Absolutely excellent package. This should go pretty quickly, folks. It's available on our website, so swoop in quick if you want him, because there's only the one available. And this is what I mean when I say it might as well be a DX figure, because it does come with the bases that they used to provide with the DX releases, although obviously this one's been specially tailored to the Terminator. You got some blood, oil, and a pipe bomb, with probably Carl Reese's blood from his hand, on there, some uh, bullet casings, and just a beautiful, beautiful base. So good they used it twice. I think it was one of the Iron Man figures that they, they used it with as well, obviously minus the uh, pipe bomb and probably the blood, but there you go. So an amazing set of weapons, two heads, awesome outfit, great accessories, beautiful base, beautiful box. Classic film. It's a no-brainer. All right, here he is out of the box, standing on his display base. He has great balance, so I didn't use the, the groin grabber this time. Just let him stand there on his own, put the sunglasses on. And he looks absolutely badass. Absolute iconic look to this character, just Truly badass. Absolute savagery. Right, I'm going to switch out the head and show you the battle damaged head because it is super gnarly and needs to be seen. the battle damaged head sculpt absolute just the crazy detail on this amazing 
And you've got a light up feature on the left eye, the endoskeleton eye showing. You'll probably have to get yourself some new batteries for this one, folks. I took mine out long ago, I think. Never really used the function, to be honest, but it is there. So, two excellent head sculpts. A hell of a lot of weapons. Awesome source material. So there it is, folks. Just the one in stock. T-800 Battle Damage version by Hot Toys. Up next we have the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Terminator Genesis Endoskeleton figure. Pretty nice packaging. Artwork looks pretty sweet. And there's a nice kind of rough texture on the slipcover here. Nice gritty feel. And so here he is, Mr. Endoskeleton. He's not die cast, so he's quite light. He does have light up feature in the eyes. So it's not a T-800, folks. I'm not too sure what it is, to be honest. I forget now. I can't remember if they ever said. Um, well, he's not a T-800 from part one or part two. Or even uh, part three. I think you see them briefly at the beginning. This is something a bit different. It's got some black sections. And a different chest plate. Different... Well, quite a lot of it is different, to be honest. It's got some nice weathering, though. It's certainly much, much improved over the uh, the one six scale T800 Hot Toys did make some years ago. I think they made a clean and a battle damage version, if I remember correctly, but that didn't look chrome. This does. Very chromey. You can see the purple lights bouncing off his endoskeleton. Big gun. Ain't gonna lie to you. That's a pretty big weapon you got there, sir. Is it sir? Isn't it? Oh, madam, maybe? Yeah. Anyway, spare hands. Don't see spare hands like that very often. Endo hands. Is it batteries? Well, let's get them out. Alright, now here he is. And I'm not gonna mess around with the batteries, folks. He's for sale, he's not mine, so. I don't really like messing around with the battery compartments when, you know, someone else has to uh, buy this. So, he won't have the light-up eyes, but you can imagine how much more impact it would have if those eyes were lit up red. Like they can be, but I'm not willing to do. So, we have a very similar design to the original T-800 endoskeleton. Now, I really am not keen on the, the black sections that they changed. Um, I can live with the changes to the actual shape and design of the endoskeleton itself, but to have those two huge uh, black sections there just jumps out at me too much. But it is, I mean, the teeth are really well done. It just uh, makes you hope and wish that they will drop a 1-6 scale diecast T-800 at some point. I mean, I have the quarter scale T-800 as a masterpiece. And I'm sure one day we'll probably have one of those come through here at the figure pit, but... I mean, this would certainly be one hell of a placeholder. It definitely has a, a very chromey presence about him. Very impressive. Alright, so there you have it, folks. The Terminator Genesis. Endoskeleton 1 6 scale by Hot Toys. Available on our website. Also important to note, folks, the chap who sold us the endoskeleton included this plasma rifle uh, that does not come with the Hot Toys figure, and it's one of the ones that they use in the original movies. So uh, I believe this bit was glued on here because something broke, but it's all intact, and it does come with the endoskeleton, so you'd actually have a more, uh, you know, Terminator 1, Terminator 2, you know, accurate kind of plasma rifle for your endoskeleton, if that's your thing. And now onto the Matrix 1-6 scale Neo figure by Hot Toys, and I've been very curious to see this for quite some time. Beautiful box. Absolutely stunning packaging. Very awesome movie. Not so much with part 2 and 3, but part 1. 
Stands Alone is an awesome film. Well, that was funny. I removed the side kind of slip cover and then it just flapped open and I saw the red pill and the blue pill. <laughs> it's like, ooh, uh, okay, time to choose. Well, he certainly comes with a lot of guns. Um, I knew that going in, but when you see it, it really, <laughs> it's a lot of guns. Yeah, that's some serious action. He's got two of those. Oh, yes, he has. Okay. Don't mess with Neo. Yeah, look at that head sculpt. That's, uh... That's Keanu. More focus. Yeah, looks like a really good head sculpt. Great clothing. And a nice big base with the lobby floor design. Really well done. Different hands. And you've got the dynamic stand so that you can do the cool sort of cartwheel upside down shooting pose or the iconic leaning back pose. And you get everything you need. All right, here he is. And I gotta say, I keep seeing Justin from Justin's collection rather than Keanu Reeves. I'm sure that will change <laughs> once the shades go on. But I'm seeing Justin. Um, I'm surprised I haven't heard anyone else say that yet. But it does look like you, Justin, if you're watching. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, man. Justin's pissed. He's got two Uzis ready to go. Let's see what you get. So now with the glasses on, you achieve that truly iconic look. And instantly, you know who that's supposed to be. I mean, you knew who it was supposed to be anyway. It was Justin. But now it's Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's fixed that particular issue. Beautiful piece, beautiful. All right, we'll get some pose action happening for you. Yeah, awesome. Very cool, I think there's a wire in his uh, trench coat here as well. I don't know if that's what you call it, but I think you can get up some posing with the coattails as well. Get them look like they're blowing in the wind. So, I'm going to look forward to reviewing this guy. And then he'll be for sale on the website. So, for your consideration, folks, the awesome Neo by Hot Toys. Alright, now I've never seen this before. This is a Sideshow 1-6 scale Star Wars Boba Fett prototype armor. All white. So, yeah, interesting. Let's take a look. And here we have a little description. It says, Meet Boba Fett in 1978, the year of our Lord, Michael Myers. Uh, Joe Johnston designed an early prototype of the infamous bounty hunter Boba Fett for Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the original Super Trooper design featured striking all-white armor and the first prototypes of Boba Fett's trademark weapons. And there he is. Alright, there is the figure in some spare hands. Looks like he's got a pretty nice looking display base. And then, I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to check that out in a minute. Looks like two pieces of material. And we got some weapons. And a uh, jetpack. It's white against white right at the moment, so uh, it's quite hard to see. Let me take these out. I want to find out what that is. Yeah, I'm not really too sure. It's pretty cool. Might be a, like a little one six scale replica of a famous thing from the, uh, you know, the time when the film was first released. I'm sure someone out there will recognize this. There's another little one here that doesn't really have any design on it, just has a gray stripe. And some weapons. And jetpack. And the figure. Well, there is the stand in the base. I don't want to separate it from the plastic, so I'm going to leave it like that, but that is really nice. Very retro looking. Very cool. Prototype armor. Very 
right, and there he is. Everything's white apart from obviously the uh, visor on top of his little antenna there. I mean, there's a couple of little bits to break it up here and there, but he's basically completely white. So that's interesting. I've n I didn't even know this existed before today, so I'm sure some hardcore Star Wars collector out there would salivate their uh, fair share of drool over a piece such as this. I mean, there can't be too many of them about. I've never heard of it. I've been doing this, uh, well, I've been in the game, the one six scale game, since 2007. Thank you very much. Anyway, for, uh, for your consideration. And here we have the one six scale sideshow Bosk. If I'm saying that right, a bounty hunter. One of the, uh, Cohorts of one Mr. Boba Fett, I'm sure, probably went on a few escapades together, collecting them bounties. It's a nice looking piece. I've never seen him before, so uh, yeah, this will be nice and fresh for me. A new one six scale experience. And here he is. Check out that head sculpt. That's pretty damn cool. Some kind of reptilian. Beast. Got a nice gun, cool outfit, some awesome spare hands. <laughs> Check out his feet. Poor bugger. Yeah, he's a very cool old school Star Wars looking piece. Very nice. I don't really want to mess with him too much to be honest. I might just try and stand him up quickly for a couple of shots. Okay, and there he is. That's a really good head sculpt. I'm not sure how old this figure is, but that's great. Look at the teeth as well. That's really good. Let's take a look at the details on the head sculpt. Look at the teeth. I'm not sure how old this piece is, but it's a great looking figure. Really different as well. This would stand out in a crowd. <laughs> Check out those arms, those hands. This is going back. Old school creature design. Well, folks, we just got the one of these, so <laughs> and I'm sure he'll go quick. People love those bounty hunters, and this is one of the rarer ones, I'm sure. I've never seen it before, so. Excellent. Quite impressed. And now onto the last one of this particular batch. We have the Hot Toys Deluxe version of Boba Fett. And uh, he has sold now, folks. So this one, out of everything I've shown you, this one is already sold. Everything else is up for grabs. But uh, for, I'm sure, probably legal reasons, I probably shouldn't say who it is, but it's a friend of mine who bought this. So congratulations, buddy. I'm sure you're going to love it. Let's pop off the lid and see what's inside. Well, we know what's inside, but let's see how good it looks. Yeah. All right, some beautiful box art, lovely slip cover, pictures of the figure there. And uh, I'll take away the clamshell in a minute, but just so you can see how packed to the brim this box is with goodies. Absolutely awesome. It does say the deluxe version Exclusive accessories, alternative, uh, sorry, an alternate version, uh, Boba Fett armor. So a slightly different color to the armor on this one. Alternate version, Boba Fett armor, sweet. Now I've just removed the clamshell because we sold this guy, folks. I don't think I'll take him out of the packaging. Now you've seen Boba Fett on the channel quite a few times already. So I'm going to leave him in there for my buddy. Make sure nothing happens to it. He gets it minty fresh. And that is a beautiful looking figure. Bubba Fett Deluxe version. And got some more hands here too. That is a great looking piece. Well 
Right folks, that's the end of the big haul unboxing. Don't forget we are here to make it easy for folks in the UK to sell and trade their 1-6 scale figures. So visit our store at thefigurepit.com and check us out. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow us on Instagram too. It's been a pleasure making this video folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on it if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye bye.